What's going on guys? It's your boy Shabazz and welcome to the channel. So, in my last video, I, I mentioned five things that I hate. One of them being dudes that lie on there. Yeah. And how the fact that a dude would intercept someone else's success to have a chance at their own success. So this segues into today's topic, which is crab in a barrel. It's a mentality in which vision of crab trying to escape the barrel and another crab pulling him down. And that cycle continues on and on and on and on. This happens a lot in our own lives where you have an opportunity to be successful or an opportunity to be great and someone or something is pulling you down. And today I'm gonna to talk about that. And it's a hard pill to swallow. And it's really a reality check where you gotta check people who are around you. Because some people are down for you. Some people want you to be great. But then there are others who secretly want you to fail. They pray for your downfall. So let's get into it. So as I mentioned earlier, it's a mentality in which envisioning a crab trying to get out of a barrel and another another crab pulling him down. Well, envision that crab being you and you're trying to, let's say, be an actor or be a singer or be an athlete or be a YouTuber even. And someone or something is telling you, you can't do it. You can't do this. No one in our community has been able to do it before. Why do you think you can do it now? For some people, that's motivation. Like, oh yeah, you don't think I'm gonna do it? Watch me. And they work twice as hard, 10 times harder, and they get it done. However, for some people, they're having that self-doubt, where can I really do it? Am I built for this? It's a mentality where you can mentally and emotionally hurt somebody, by saying a couple words. I'm here to talk about the fact that you can do it. When you do succeed, you look that person in the eye and you, you be like, yeah, I did it, now what? What do you guys say now? If anything you do, whether you're the most successful person in the world, you're gonna have a hater. LeBron James had his critics. Michael Jordan had his critics. These great actors and great like people in the world, they have someone praying for their downfall. Why you gotta hate? You're wasting your energy manifesting something that will probably, God forbid, won't happen instead of manifesting that same energy into bettering yourself. People in your life are placed to be obstacles and challenges for you to overcome. There are people in your life that are there for you and want you to succeed. But then at the same time, people will not get hustled. However you get your bag, people will always have something to say about it. Before, people say it's a scam, people say it's fake, but that's how they get their bread, that's how they get their back, that's how they get, that's their opportunity to get out of the situation that life put them in. But yet, you wanna downplay it and you wanna, you know, not be a part of it. You don't have to be a part of it, just support that. Be happy for them that they actually have something that gives them, gives them that passion. A lot of times we all, like a lot of people go around life like not having that one thing that they really are passionate about. Because finally they have a purpose. They finally found something that they can dig down and dig deep and motivate themselves to be successful at. Athletes, Forex traders, hell, even YouTubers. When I, started, when I first started my channel, uh, people I was selling, they saw the excitement that I was having. When I was writing up videos and typing up videos and stuff, they saw the excitement how happy I was to be doing this. But there's gonna be people saying, oh, are you sure you wanna do this? You know, not every YouTuber is successful. You know, the end goal is always to be successful. But sometimes it's to have that passion. And it just sucks when you have that passion for anything and someone else is telling you that it's a bad thing to have a passion for. Oh, you shouldn't be invested in that. Oh, you shouldn't start your makeup company. Oh, you shouldn't start your fashion line. It might be a waste of time, it might be a waste of opportunity for something else, but how are you gonna know unless you try? Who in this world are scared to try new things? Why? Because they're scared of change. Change is definitely scary, but people who is there for you, people who are your rider, your true riders, they're gonna motivate you and push you forward and pick you up when you fall and put the pieces back. The people that's not there for you, that's not your riders, they're not your mans, they're only gonna be there for you when it's beneficial to them. They're gonna be there for you when it's only, when you're only at your highest. When you're at your lowest, you'll see where your real friends are. 
you'll see who's really there for you and who can you actually rely on. The point of this video is to make you reevaluate your circle. People in your circle, they're meant to motivate you and all that, but also they're meant to keep you grounded when the success gets too high and remind you that there's bigger things in life than a particular thing. For my athletes, it's big, it's, life is bigger than football, bigger than basketball. How are people gonna remember you? There's often a saying that goes, misery loves company. But why is that the case? Why, why not be miserable by yourself? You, why you gotta bring others down with you? People are very like, like very extra with the word, oh, that's my brother, oh, that's my sister. I'm fortunate enough to have two brothers who I love very much. And I got, three, I got a bunch of line brothers in my fraternity, but I got three dope ass line brothers. And I know if I'm fucking up, if I'm doing something I'm not supposed to be doing to be great, they're gonna check me on that. I got two sisters who I love very much. They're the same way. They expect a higher standard than what I'm producing. So they're gonna check me on that. And if you don't got people like that around you, what are you doing? How are you gonna better yourself if people around you can't even point out your flaws? People, if you're watching this video, if you're vibing what I'm saying, drop a like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.